Hey boys and girls, we've been talking about measurement in math lately. There's many tools you can use to measure things with. We, lately we've been measuring length in inches and feet and meters and centimeters and we've been using rulers to measure length. But there's many tools we can use such as thermometers to measure temperature. This is a meat thermometer that, that you would use to measure how hot your meat is when you're cooking it. You can also measure your own temperature by taking your temperature if you're sick or the temperature outside to see how hot or cold it is. You can also use a scale to see how heavy something is, which we're not going to do that today. And we use measuring cups to see the volume of something. So today we're going to measure Cups, pints, and quarts. Sure. And there's a cute little bank, brain pot video that you can watch if you'd like later on after this. So we're going to talk about cups, pints, and quarts. Or I'm milk. using chocolate milk today, so it kind of makes it a little easier to see. I would suggest if you go to practice, use water. Or milk. No. Alright, so this is one cup. See, there you can see it. That is one cup. One cup. Take a sip out of it? No. <laughs> if you put two cups, it equals one pint. Like one pint. <laughs> and my little helper today. Okay. So two cups is equal to Two cups. One pint. Yep, one pint. So two cups is equal to one pint. So two pints would be equal to two cups or one pint. We're going to make another pint, which is also the same as two cups. And I'll be four cups. So we have four cups, two pints, one quart. Don't sip out of those kind of cups. Cups, pints, quarts. Now, I would suggest going into your kitchen and asking your mom and dad if you can get your measuring cups out and play around with them in the sink, but not with chocolate milk. All right, have fun and enjoy your day. 